All right, I believe that I've come upon the Ernest Hemingway house and got a nice brick wall in front. So we're gonna go see if we can't find our way in. And I don't know if they'll let us take a camera or not, but uh, we'll certainly, certainly try. Such a beautiful morning here in Key West. It really is a magical, magical place. Huh. So here is the, uh, here it is, here is the Ernest Hemingway house. Look at this. Wow. So we're going to go on inside and take a look. Admission is $13 for adults, $6 for children. All right, so photos are not only welcome, they're encouraged. So I'm about to give you a tour of the Ernest Hemingway house and, and gardens. So what do you think, Dad? Yeah, it's quite nice. Huh? I've read a few of his books. You have, huh? Yeah. Well, let's go in and take a look at his home. Hello, how are you doing? Doing great. You are Stan, Stan from Ohio. Uh, did you know Ernest? No, only, uh, only through his writing. Only through his writing, huh? All right. Where are you folks from? We're from uh, Florida. Good, well, We're from Florida. Florida neighbors. I'm going to be starting a guided tour in about 10 minutes. You want to follow a guided tour? Or you prefer to go on your own? It's up to you. Okay, how long does the guided tour take? Yeah, about 35 minutes. Wonderful. And you're going to be starting that in 10? Yeah. I think it'd probably be a good idea to okay. take the tour. Uh, huh? Just a, a word, you're videotaping. Yes. Um, during the tour, videotaping not allowed. Ah. You can take photos. You can take okay. photos during the tour, then you can videotape before and after. Uh huh. All right, wonderful. That's okay. the house, the museum room. Sure. So we're, we're going uh, to start right It's a little cooler inside the house. Okay. Look around, wonderful. lots to see, lots to look at. About 10 minutes, we'll start in the first room on your right. Well, look at this. Wow. There's the man. Ernest Hemingway. Really something to see. There's a replica of his boat right there. I just went to see the movie, uh, Hemingway in Cuba, I think it was called. And uh, really a wonderful, wonderful movie. There's his typewriter. This boat is a marvel for fishing. It takes any sea comfortably and can turn on her tail to chase a fish. Can literally turn in her own length. Comfortable to live on board, big gallery five big beds, damned roomy, and a wonderful fishing machine. With the reduction gear on the big motor, we can full 10 hours a day on less than 20 gallons and can speed up to do 16 miles when we need to head a fish. We had two of those major chairs made here for 23 bucks a piece. All right. Here's the kitchen. Just a simple home. There's an ice box, you can see. Probably kept some cold beer in there, I'd imagine. From what I understand, he liked cats. They had a lot of cats around. Here's some of the uh, Hadley Richardson. That was his girlfriend in, in Paris, the Paris years. Hadley Richardson. In the Cuba years, Martha Gellhorn. You can see her there. There's the Cuba and Idaho years. He was a romancer, Mary Welch, Cuba and Idaho years. 
There's Pauline. Wow. He was quite the ladies' man. Huh? He was quite the ladies' man. <laughs> There's Ingrid, Ingrid Berm, Berm Bergman and Hemingway. Picture Ingrid uh, Bergman and, and Hemingway there. Here's the movie that I just saw, Papa Hemingway in Cuba. All right, let's take a uh, let's take a walk upstairs. I didn't make it to the Hemingway house the last time that I was here. Books in the section below belong to Ernest's wife, Pauline, and his sons. Books in this section were part of Ernest Hemingway's personal collection. Most of his books are in Cuba. City for Conquest, Abraham Lincoln, Poise, How to Attain It, From Jungle Roots, really special for me to be sharing this with my dad, who was a big reader. Oh, and here is uh, here's the bed, complete with a nice little little cat. You know, chilling out here. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this was the master master bedroom. It's wonderful that they let you take pictures and, and videos. Here's the bathroom. Actually, rather cool here in the house. They have air conditioning running, so it's very, very comfortable as you browse through. 1919 to 1921, Paris. He was discharged from the Red Cross American Field Service in Italy in 1919 and returned home to Illinois as a decorated war hero. pictures of him. This picture on the right was taken in Ketchum, Idaho. There he is in 1961 and 1927 and 1924. Quite a museum. View out the window. All right. Let's go down now. Having toured the house, let's go down and take a look at the take a look at the garden. All right. Before going down into the into the garden, I found my way out to the balcony off the uh, second floor here and it said Ernest Hemingway resided here from 1931 to 1939 and during that time he enjoyed a short commute to his writing studio via a catwalk that once spanned across the gallery roof connecting the master bedroom porch and his writing studio so his writing studio I believe would be right right over there 
Uh, he wrote daily from 6 a.m. until noon, and he would produce about five to 700 words each day. 70% of his works were written during nine years he lived in this house. 70% of his work was written right, uh, right here where I stand. What a treat. What an absolute treat to be able to come and share this, uh, share this with those of you out there on YouTube that are following along. I would imagine this is where they had some dancing right here. Ernest liked to, uh, if I remember correctly from the movie, Ernest liked to have a good time. And uh, I'm sure there were many a good time right down there in the, in the garden with the uh, dance floor. They even have a chandelier, if you look at that. There's a chandelier hanging over the, uh, the dance floor. So the man uh, certainly knew how to live. You know, it reminds me of a quote from a movie, Braveheart. Every man dies, but not every man really lives. And uh, Ernest, Ernest uh, he certainly lived. You can't, uh, can't deny him that. Look at the beautiful flowers here on the tree. Are those flowers or, or blooms on a tree? I'm not quite sure. I'll continue walking along the outside. And this says here, notice the design of the fountain below. It was built by Aza Tipped in 1862 and replicates the cutting-edge warship design he and his brother Nelson developed for the Confederacy, the ironclad warship. Zoom in and give you a nice shot of the fountain there. Really a beautiful setting here. Lots of beautiful uh, foliage. Just a beautiful, beautiful yard. We'll find our way down now. You can visit their website at HemingwayHome.com. Give you a nice walk through the through the gardens. No shortage of cats walking around, that's for sure. Lots of cats. This kind of reminds me of my days in the military when I was in Panama. I am, uh, a lot of people don't know, as I actually am a jungle expert, <laughs> if you can imagine that. I spent, uh, oh, the better part of a month going through JOTC, Jungle Operation Training Center. And they have a, uh, they have a cat cemetery here. So here is their... There's Tigger from 1990 to 1997, Adriana, Kim Novak, Willard Scott, Pandora. Our cats are protected from fleas and heartlands with the monthly use of revolution. Captain Dexter and Snowball, the first six-toed cat. We've got a bookstore here that you can you can visit. Here's the pool. 
The Hemingway Pool, an unprecedented architectural feat, was completed in 1937. It's 24 feet wide by 64 feet length. The shallow is 4 foot 8 inches and the deepest end is 8 foot 7 inches. It cost $20,000 to build and 80,784 gallon capacity. And the city refused Pauline's request to use dynamite to excavate the pool, so the work had to be done by hand with picks and sledgehammers. As no fresh running water was available in Key West until 1944, a drill was used to reach the saltwater table. Then the saltwater was pumped into the pool. The project took a year and a half and ran considerably over budget. Still, it was the talk of the town and delight of the Hemingway guests. And there's a quote here from Elizabeth Bishop, the U.S. poet. It says, it lights up at night. I find that each underwater bulb is five times the voltage of one bulb in the lighthouse across the street, so the pool must be visible from Mars. It is wonderful to swim around in a sort of green fire. Here's the, the bookstore. Should probably get my dad a, a nice book. Maybe I'll get my dad the complete short stories of Ernest Hemingway. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good. What a wonderful what a wonderful place. There's some of his books over here. A farewell to Arms, Sun Also Rises. To have and have not, the old man in the sea. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Well, they give a tour here. I'm going to. That water trough will be the first thing I'll talk about once we get up to the back. All right, so we've completed just about the entire, uh, entire property. Come over here and you got the nice dance studio, more cats. As I said in one of my earlier videos, people tend to be cat people or dog people. And I guess Ernest was a uh, Ernest was a cat person. Come across over here. Takes us back over by the pool area. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we should go up and visit the the writing studio. Which is right over the right over the pool area. And this lovely lady here is Mercedes. Mercedes is from Cuba, correct? Yes, and Mercedes, do you know of Ernest Hemingway? Oh, Mercedes is shy. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes, Mercedes doesn't like to talk on the uh, on the camera, but uh, I'll ask her off camera. Is Ernest Hemingway popular in Cuba? He, yes, he is. He is, huh? Okay. So there you have it from a real Cuban. Ernest Hemingway is very popular. So this would be, I believe, his writing studio. And uh, I think that you can actually go up and, and take a look. 
and he would spend his time writing from six in the morning until noon and interestingly enough I like to do a lot of my work early we get up early and put in a good portion of the day's work before most people have even begun to have lunch So completing our tour brings us into the writing studio here. You can see the walls are adorned with different animals that we caught. And right there is where he'd sit and write his, write his books. So, with all that being said, this concludes the tour of the Ernest Hemingway House in Key West, Florida. And uh, I'll ask my dad. Dad? What do you think? The huh? library? This is where he wrote his books. 70% of all of his books were written right in this room. You've read some of his books, huh? You've read some of his books? Are they good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, folks. So listen, I will uh, say goodbye now. We're going to go. Okay.